If I'm to recognize the Honourable Member for Nepean before his right of reply. The Honourable Member for Nepean. Mr. Speaker, thank you. Namaste. I would like to begin by thanking my colleagues from all political parties for strongly backing the motion to designate November as the Hindu Heritage Month. I am humbled by the support of dozens of organizations from across Canada and from thousands of Canadians. Hindu Canadians are the most peaceful, hardworking community which has made and continues to make significant contribution to Canada's socio-economic development and cultural heritage. On Hindu heritage, Hindus have an ancient, magnificent and robust inheritance which they have received from numerous sources. Our wisdom traditions, our religious rites and rituals, our literature, the many arts and crafts, our elders, our fairs and festivals, and above all, from the many samskaras or the sacraments in our home. That heritage not only gives us drishti, our worldview, it defines our purusharthas, our aims of life, and equally defines our samskriti, our culture. In short, Hindu heritage defines our dharma. In a civilization that is so ancient, what strike one is that not only, not only does it have an unbroken tradition of 5,000 years of recorded history, but also the plurality or diversity of our tradition. Even in the absence of a monolithic religious dispensation, we Hindus, whether in Canada or anywhere in the world, are connected by an invisible thread that binds us together. That is the strength of our Hindu heritage. Our wisdom traditions that starts from the Vedas and then flows into Upanishads or the forest discourses, followed by our Puranas our, or our songs and stories, are philosophically rich and form the foundation of temple traditions. It is the same vast heritage that informs us, informs our costume and cuisine, our habits and behavior, our arts and crafts. The Hindu heritage does not restrict itself to matter religious, but we have a strong aesthetic foundation which leads to the celebration of saundarya or what is beautiful. We celebrate the beautiful in our lived lives through stories and paintings, song and dance, color and cuisine, festivals and family events. Though ancient, our heritage is alive and growing. It is open to influences from other civilizations and freely adapts and gives to whoever we come in contact with. Thus it is that for us Hindus, Canada is a comforting home, a comforting and embracing home away from home. For many people in the world, the term cultural heritage is still primarily tangible or material cultural heritage. There is a need to recognize, preserve, celebrate and promote the Hindu heritage as defined by UNESCO's intangible or living cultural heritage. This intangible or living cultural heritage includes oral traditions like song and dramatic performances, performing arts like vocal and instrumental music and dance, social practices like rituals and festivals, traditional knowledge like cuisine and medicine, and traditional craftsmanship like pottery, metalwork, and jewelry. Proclaiming Hindu Heritage Month provides an opportunity to remember, celebrate, and educate both current and future generations about Hindu heritage and the contributions of Hindu Canadians to our great nation. I would like to thank again my colleagues in this house, dozens of organizations across Canada, and the thousands of Canadians who have reached out to me in support of this motion. This support is so Canadian way that both people with different political ideologies and people agnostic to any political ideologies all coming together for recognizing and promoting Hindu heritage in Canada. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Danyavad.